Hello, and welcome to ATL by Moonlight, Chapter 3, Fire of Emotion. Let's welcome our werewolves. Hey, I'm Jesse Jurdak, and I'm playing Father Oren Maktir. I'm Nordin Ali Kadir, and I play Rumi. I'm KP, and I play Virgo Ball. I'm Autumn Ivy, and I am playing Flint. And I'm Super Dylan, and I'm playing Kaylee, like Shalane. <laughs> and I am your storyteller, Ian E. Muller. Don't forget to check out our link tree and support our wonderful sponsors. This is a special Werewolf the Apocalypse miniseries using updated 5th edition rules. These are not official rules, uh, though we are using official material and the latest updates revealed in hints from the World of Darkness team. So sit back, relax, and let's tell a story of rage. Nobody's safe. Say, as soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake, either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face, we put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change, pick up the pace. We put in infinite work, that's why we stay getting paid. We in the vein, we always switching it up. They can't predict what we say. Come out the cave, they see the blood on our shirt, they see the teeth in the face. They watching tape, still trying to figure us out. They think we came in to play, they send the stakes, they trying to give us a curse. Ain't no more running away. They tryna chase, they tryna follow our steps They tryna copy the way, boy that's your game That's why they keep getting curved You gotta stay in your lane They wanna claim that we not giving them work Like this is minimum wage Boy is you crazy, why you keep feeding the beast Now that you open the cage Nobody say Where we last left our pack, they had discovered that they may be in something more than just a cavern. Uh, cut off from the exit, they will need to seek a different path out of the cairn, and the only way out may be through. So, you just discovered that when shifting into the penumbra, the twisted roots of corruption through this cavern were shifting the pathways and changing the layout which may be how the pack you were looking for got went missing what would you like to do from here you have your lights they're still lit and i have my direction uh, what, all right, what else? We we also need to keep ourselves hidden because that thing, the corruption, might be in the other on the other side. Mm. But it 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 locked the others in. Sure, it could be by accident, but like probably not. Have Have any of you heard of the Black Spiral dances? And there's a, in that pause, you do that rhythm, pulsing, almost musical sound picks up a little bit. No. Uh, you had me at hello, so. A long, long time ago, there were more than just the tribes you see in front of you. More than just the Ghost mm. Council, and Black Furies, Red Talons or mine. They were the White Howlers. They were known for their bravery and for their commitment against fighting against the worm. One day they decided to take the charge directly to it, mining into a hive. They dug deep and every single warrior of theirs went in. When they came out, they were changed their furs, their eyes, some perfectious beauties, others monstrous. And they lived only for spreading the corruption even further. There are very few lost tribes that are truly lost. The White Howlers are one of our first. And the dance has begun here too. You can hear it. 
I growl and I sigh. Are you talking about the dancers? Yes. He just hand signs and goes, prep your best weapons. And he turns to father and he goes, this is not the time to hold back. I'm sorry. They won't just come for our bodies. They'll come for our minds and our souls. Yeah, so I'm also 100% for a trip to crazy town. Uh, but... But... What? What? Listen, I, I I've spent a lot of time in the woods, and I don't uh, I don't do this meshing thing with all of these other people. This this group right here, uh, taking a lot of trust. So, have you ever seen someone um, take a drug, a bad trip, and never really recover? I mean, yeah. This is the worst trip of your life of anyone's life, and no one recovers. Very few people come face to face with this kind of corruption and escape with themselves intact. Rumi, in the rhythm that you can hear, you think you can pick out an erratic drumbeat at this point. Next in. Rumi? I want to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. You're sounding like that 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 tone that 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 thing you're doing. It sounds like you're trying to talk us out of of going in after our brethren. No. And I I I just want to point out a couple of things. One, we don't do that. And two, we probably can't. Um, because I think that the, I think that the paths are already changing. I know. I just, I do not wish to see history repeat itself. I knew he goes, I don't know if this is what he meant, but our only path now is to go in and put them out of their misery. (laughs) We don't know that. We it don't. Them. We don't know that they're lost. Nobody, not even Rumi, love you. Has proof that this is an unsurvivable situation. They've only been there a few days. The music just started. We can get in there, and we're going to because that's what we do. Yes. Right. You're darn right. You keep your hope. I'll make sure we survive. And yeah, he listen. Walks forward. I live by the life of good luck. You're fucked. So at the end of the day, if this is already happening, <laughs> I mean, I was gonna die someday. It might as well be tomorrow. Maybe we'll try to stay it off at least one more day. Hold on till the next sunrise, at least. Right. Yes. I don't like to think that any soul is permanently lost. Call to call of mine. Sometimes their only freedom is release. But I did. There's every hope we might find them, find them intact. But if they've been drawn here, they're not the first. I think worse comes to worse, we may have to fight, regardless. Whether it's in here, in here, here. But just prepare yourselves. And. You are all incredibly strong people in your own ways. Don't let it convince you otherwise. I follow. I'm after Africa. Yeah, we gotta keep him out of trouble. I yell back, the longer we wait here, the more they dance. Let me take the front. If I'm to guide you, I need to find the path. Flashing my iPhone through you around. Mm. Even inside a cavern, there are still stars. I'd like to activate a gift, please. Mm-hmm. Pathfinder. Okay. Can 
the existence of my lights, provided I'm still allowed to keep them active, mm -hmm. uh, assist them on a roll. In a way, or, or they may be doing something separate. The fact that your lights are out are one of the only reasons that they can Got it. use this okay. gift at this point. Yeah, yep, four while successes. you're doing that. Four successes on the Gnosis roll. Yes. Uh, so I have a side question, Storyteller, while they're doing this. Yes. Because technically, under under Senseworm stipulation, it's a mm -hmm. general sense of, sense, sense of manifestation as well as location. So if we were concerned, because these are things that have been touched by that. Very much so. Which, is, which means mm -hmm. that Senseworm is still applicable. So yes. technically, I could activate that and use it as a tracking mechanism to ensure that we are one step ahead of them. In theory, yes. If you would like to do so. I would like to try to do that. Okay. Give me the appropriate roles for that. The Gnosis and then yeah. the... Let me double check myself. With occult. Yes, okay. I'm running out of Gnosis willpower. First. What are you at for willpower? One left. Unmarked. Pass that. Okay. I need to guide them right. I need to guide them right. Actually, before I... Uh, okay. I should have I should have channeled some rage. I should have. Three successes. Okay. Three total? Three total. Okay. You start to make sense. From your perspective on the material plane, nothing has changed about these caverns. It's what McKaylee said they saw in the penumbra that indicated that things were shifting around you in a labyrinthine style. But you immediately get the sense that you need to turn around and go back the way you were just coming from. Not as a, not as a escape, but that is the correct direction to go that, for what you were thinking. What did you get? Uh, so I did good on Gnosis and then two, four. Two? Yeah. You are temporarily overwhelmed by being completely surrounded by worm taint and corruption. There's no way to pinpoint a direction because it, you are surrounded so in it already. Got it. Okay, close your eyes, everyone. Listen to each other's heartbeats. Can you hear them? Or each other's breathing? Find that rhythm, focus on it. And now follow me in the exact opposite direction from which we were walking. This way. And if I lead you astray, I am very sorry. You're not leading us astray. I hope to God I am not. And you all turn around and start walking in seemingly the direction you just came from. And within moments, the pathways look different. The way you had just passed through. You're playing tricks, but I've seen your tricks before. And for the first time in a while, you see a directional glyph carved into a wall again. Semi, somewhat recently. <clears throat> Is it the right direction? Yep. It indicated that they passed this way. As long as they came through here, that's where we go. Okay. I take out my lipstick and above the rune, I write, we're coming. It's just it. <laughs> and I write it badly because I'm in Krynos form. So my lipstick is done. We like, come, sit still. <laughs> and it's just a smashed. Such a willing point. sacrifice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I could have helped you with that. I'm... You're doing great. Do you continue? Forward we go. Okay. Uh, Rumi, if you would do me a favor, mm -hmm. periodically I will just motion toward you. I will need you to, you don't need to make the Gnosis roll every time, but make your Pathfinder roll. Okay. And if you would do that again for me as you're walking. Is that a, uh, a mental check? Um, what are, what are the, what's the roll? It's wits and uh, 
Yeah, I would I would class it as using it's a gift, right. which is technically slightly different, but I would classify it as a mental check if you have something that can assist. Could I use a Breath of the Wild? You may, yes. All right. You will need to roll uh, Gnosis and then the appropriate roll for Breath of the Wild, and we will say that will apply to your next few rolls. Mm-hmm. You're just... Gnosis, uh, one success. That's fine. That's oh. enough on the Gnosis roll. Wow, okay. Um... And then uh, what's the role follow up? I'm so sorry. Breath of the Wild is intelligence and insight. Mm-hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Insight. Thank you. I have it too. <laughs> it's right. a very useful. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, crit and a success. So three. Fantastic. So for your next three, add <clears throat> the bonus. So peace be with you. Hmm? And with you. As you continue walking, Rumi leading you, you pass another glyph, and you start to lose track of how long you've been down here. It feels like you've been walking for, like, till sunrise at this point, and it's probably only been two hours. The pathways loop in a very serpentine manner. You swear that you've passed the same glyph once or twice, but Rumi seems to be guiding you forward still. Hold on. You hear, you hear a, like every few minutes a grunt and a sign that goes, Are we there yet? <laughs> Push we there your yet? toes into the floor until they hurt. There once you can no longer there feel yet? them, then we'll be there. Are we there yet? You know the answer to that. Are we there yet? If and you don't hit him, I'm going to. <laughs> Rick, um, I know. It's boring. I, all right. You want to you play 20 questions? No, just all right. one question. Don't Are we there yet? All right. do it. <laughs> Tell me, Father, amongst your tribe, how do you greet a stranger? Well, uh, we, we offer him... Uh, a uh, 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 greeting. <clears throat> yeah, we call it. Uh, we call it a thing in my congregation. Um, uh, why? What do you ask for? We need to remember who we are and who each other is. Sure. Tell me about your congregation. Yeah, it's it's a smaller congregation. We've got some lovely people, though. Generous to a fault. Um, people that try and give too much. Of them, t- of their own time, of their finances, but we do a lot of good with it. It's a lot of hurting people in town, you know. Mm. Hungry. You're a very kind person. I just wish you were kinder to yourself. Furies, what's your sect like? Friendly, energetic, angry. What's our what like? Except your 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 small family of people. Oh, the pack? There's not a lot of us left. What are they like? They were great. And they understood what it was like to help each other. The rhythmic sound you heard has been getting steadily louder. And all of you can make out a chant, a drum beat. It is frenetic, but it is music. You said that we've passed by a glyph a few times? It seems it seems like you may have passed by one more than once. I, oh, sorry. No, I was gonna ask, cause you're talking about marking them, right? Uh, yeah, I, I is it the one that I had marked over? No. No. The next time that we pass one, I would like to shift back into Hamid. Mm-hmm. I go up to Fricka. Mm-hmm. I say, punch Glyphies, no backsies. And I uh, give him a good shoulder bump. Uh, and I take out my cell phone and I start playing pop music of a generic sort as loud as I can. Rock and roll. To 
disrupt the beat of this music getting louder. Okay. I look very physically at you and at everybody else. And I'm just hard judging the music. And I'm going to also sing along to it badly. And almost immediately when you start playing music, you all hear this broken snarl sound come from above you as just the shadows shift and the tendrils that you saw in the penumbra start curling down toward you. I turn to you and as I'm seeing this, like, can I please change the music? What's your genre? Anything but that. And I, I gesture and I grab it and I put on pretty much disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. And you see Rika, as soon as it comes on, you just like, you have never seen him as relaxed as he has been at that moment. You just like his body just loosens up. <laughs> and he goes, and then there's a subtle, weird wolfish smile. And he goes, all right. As the shadow's coming after us. Uh, the It's almost like a tendril of root mm. that is just blackened and desiccated. Patience, Ooh. beta. We're gonna get there. Yeah, I get it. And then I, who is in human form still? Everyone but you. Okay. Um, he goes, uh, he signs, you, wolf form. Or if any, like whoever is wanting to go, time to go and asks whoever wants to go wolf. And because you are in Krenos and taller than everyone, the tendril whips down and wraps around one of your arms. I swat it. <clears throat> it is much stronger than you were expecting. Okay. As do, do I, I swat it as well. Uh, do I, can I roll anything to break it? Uh, you may roll strength and brawl. Let's go! I would like to interject and add pack tactics then. Okay. Yeah. Hell um, yeah. Because my pack tactics, Sick. especially because it is technically alongside of me being in my, my natural leader position, mm -hmm. uh, it, it benefits. So plus two attack rolls at the end of the scene, wits and brawl or melee, and on successful targets you choose gain plus two attack roll. Okay. So. And I'm in wolf form, so I get plus three. You do. It's wrong. Uh, and then I also, what did I get from you? Yeah, before you roll. Yes. No. Oh. What she is doing. My gnosis is good. Okay. And then wits, brawl, or melee. So three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right, four, five, six. There we go. Oh, baller. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. What do I get? So, uh, for pack tactics, what does that give? Plus two. Plus two. Yep. So you get to roll two extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that beauty. <laughs> That's fucking that cool. Go to anyone standing near Flint. You can also choose to rage if you'd like. Which will add all of your rage dice to your roll. Which are five. But think about that. That's a risk. Yeah, I, think it's about not that yet. It's not. We're not frenzy. We're not, we're not, not frenzy. We're not frenzy right now. Not yet. No. Not yet. Oh, and it's also Rika is not. It's not at the time for him. Oh, <gasps> money, money. <sighs> that is. That is money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that's uh, with the stars too. Uh, only if there's a pair of them. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, eight, eight. So with eight success, you dig your claws into this tendril and pull it off of your arm, tearing it from the ceiling as black brackish water spews out across mm. all of you and you drop <laughs> it and the root disintegrates once yeah. it's been As soon as that happens, you just hear him go <sighs> and then just grabs whoever's not in wolf form, which is pretty much everybody. And he goes, lead. I'm and, doing it. And then he just starts. And right. with right. you retaliating, you all see twisted roots bursting through parts of the tunnel. 
that you're in mm. and snarling, trying to grab your ankles, trying to grab at your necks. I am going to forge. I'm not going to look back. I'm not going to bat them away. I'm going to forge on through as best as I can. Time to go. Just charging forward. Charging forward. If no one else chooses to be in wolf. No, yeah, I'm okay. shifting. No, 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 I'm shifting. Let's go. I'm now, shifting. If you're not, down the sickness is on. I'm shifting. Right, so I'm it's shifting. Time to go. Shifting. <laughs> yes. Neither of you are? I'm learning how no, to yes. the right okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Uh. <laughs> the two old men are not shifting again. Oh, yeah. You're being picked up. You're no, I... You cannot pick me up okay. because I'm leading. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're, I'm, like, like, right behind you. Like, go, go, And go. I, I'm forging on ahead. Okay. I'm pushing through. If things are... I imagine attacking me, mm -hmm. slashing at oh, me. Oh, I'm behind that. I'm not yeah. even looking. And I'm gonna be behind just trying to like, okay, swap that so, away. Okay, so, will you please make another Pathfinder roll for me? Mm -hmm. And will those of you who have shifted give me strength and brawl rolls to prevent these tendrils from attacking Rumi or for, te for attacking any of you? Can I actually... Does the pack tactic still apply? Yes. Perfect, Can plus I two to everybody to too. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, so channel nice. some rage? Yes. Heck yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's channel some rage first. Oh no. Because Plus you I still have a bonus fun. from Yes. I want as many bonuses as I can. Four successes for the Gnosis. Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Channeling rage is the same okay. six dice. Question. Uh for the um the ten dice, what is the zero again? That's, uh, a, that's a that's a crit. That's a crit. Mm -hmm. Hold up. One, two, three. two successes. I'm going to throw in one more rage. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, eight success. Okay. Four. Okay. The two doesn't count, so it's one. Okay. But you didn't change. Five. You didn't shift. So. I was. Oh, you did shift. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so everybody pretty much, except for father and yeah, it's just father. Oh, and then father is he's cradling father, like or at okay. least like holding him one, like under one arm, like football. Mm -hmm. So you are able to successfully prevent any of them from attacking you mm -hmm. or Orin. And though Rika is in a position, what his goal is to get everybody yep. through. Okay, but. And Michaeli, you're able to get them off of yourself. Rumi, and to help with Rumi as well. Rumi, you will take two superficial damage. I will have it. Which is soakable for you. Soakable? Uh huh. As a werewolf. Mm -hmm. um, you are not in Krenos, so you're not able to just negate it entirely, but um, you're able to take half. So just one. Uh, Rumi does not blink, and you can hear him like through gritted teeth saying things that you don't understand and clearly not in the same language multiple times you've taken enough <sighs> flint <laughs> you bat some of the tendrils away as you're running and you make it about 10 steps one wraps around your neck lifts you up off the ground and backwards. Mm -hmm. And you can feel it constricting. Right. I'm going to need you to make a strength and brawl roll without the bonus dice for being in the Krenos. Okay. So don't add the extra three. Okay, so side question then, mm -hmm. because I have my spur claws, my natural weapons, Yep. which is plus two on top of spur claws, which is plus two. Yep. And then I'm double checking my my stuff here because I'm in desperation. Is this, um, does pack tactics still apply here? Mm -hmm. So two, four, six. So that's six applicable. Yep. Okay. And then you said strength and what else? Brawl. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's the six for those. Strength. Another six. Huh? And then another. Yep. Six. And then another six. Well, actually, no. Three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! So three, four. Five, six. So damn near all the dice. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving you. Okay. My butthole depends on it. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. That no, one. No, no, we're good. We're okay. Good. We're good. Oh, that's fantastic. We're good. We're great. All right. He's rolling too. <gasps> that's your good. 
Eight. Eight beats seven. <laughs> You just reach back <laughs> and shred that tendril, feeling it disintegrate that brackish water spraying across your back. <laughs> and you catch up and you make it through this hallway and everything clears. What do you mean by clears? Uh, the shadows dissipate that were, everything was very shrouded in darkness. Mm. Um, and that's what it was attacking through, and it, dissip- it dissipates. It's more brightly lit. We passed one trial. <laughs> You're gonna call it a fucking trial? <laughs> this isn't the first time I've done this. Was it like this? <laughs> I was human. Okay, buddy, listen, after that, right there, <clears throat> I'm gonna need you to get it a little bit more in the description file, okay? Do you know what's next? Actually, I have perfect recall. Do I know do. what's next? <laughs> Give me a roll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fancy. Uh, One success on the gnosis, okay. but intelligence and awareness, so that's Another six. Five successes. Five. The last time you encountered something similar to this, it wasn't quite the same. There was, it was not a Cairn. But if memory serves, you can expect there to be creatures also barring your path at some point. Servants, uh, misshapen creatures of the worm. What we've fought before is as fingers to are to a hand. So it's going to get worse. But we're strong. We're strong. We're strong. You're strong. Strength has costs. Fought yeah, so does cross. death. Okay. I wear the dead on me. I know. Onward we go. Any words? No. Go. Vika, did you choose your name? And I start leaving us again. Does it matter? Please? I took it for myself. And that's all that matters. It suits you. Mm. Do you know much about your tribe, the Talons? And as I'm running, it's just huffing, and he's just like quizzically looking at it, like, what is this 20 questions right now? Uh, he goes, the only one that matters to me. I don't give two shits where I come from or what I represent. The only one that matters is this one in my hand. Keep that in mind. And I run. I know you understand me, no matter what language I speak. Maybe you don't care where you came from, but you should. Because whatever they did to you, they had no right to take you, take the old culture away from you. <laughs> God, don't talk to me about culture. Listen, we can have these questions after the fact. No, I'm using them to concentrate, because if I get too much into my head, I'll lose myself in the memories, and then I will no longer be here. I'm doing this for me. I'm being selfish. Forgive me. You feel there's a pause with Rika, and then he goes, Fine. You want to know? There was only one other person, my mother. That was it. There was no clan. There was no one else. It was just us. It's always been just one and another. You deserve I didn't. <laughs> I have everything I have and want here. I don't need more. I don't want more. Everybody else, every person, everything outside of my circle doesn't matter. Anything I let in is what matters and what I will protect. I create my own heritage. I create my own traditions. 
Anybody else who wants to instill their own on me? I don't find it hard. I do not wish to instill anything upon you. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying that what it ever wrought me was only pain and bad memories. And that's not what I'm here for. So I will forge my own path. I will create what I need to create. And I will take from them what they didn't give me. But it is not from their own generosity. It is not from what they wanted. It is mine. And I will keep it. Good. But do not lie when you say that you do not want more. Because I can sense that you do. I don't want any for them. From them. That's what I mean. Who's talking about them. And I continue to forge forward. Okay. You continue to forge forward. The paths continue to shift. And... uh, Kaylee, are you still playing music? Yep. Okay. The music doesn't seem to disturb anything (laughs) anymore. (laughs) <laughs> it doesn't seem to disrupt anything while we're while we're in a room without shadows. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it does, even if some of you may not enjoy the choice of music, help calm, whereas the drumbeat and the chanting, the music you heard was mm-hmm. driving a lowercase f frenzy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I know that, like, (laughs) we've all got lots of memories and they're all so sad and, uh, and everything. Um, I don't know that focusing on the past is, is the best in this moment. What about when we get out of here? Bricka? When we get out of here mm-hmm. with our wolves with us and our hides intact, what are we doing? <sighs> Have a concert. <laughs> Poop the floor. Get out. He kind of just hesitates and he's just like so confused. He's never had to talk and interact with <laughs> people this much, uh, especially not other Garu. And he goes, I'm. I mean, a cover band. Wait, you're not seeing a concert. You're in a concert. That's hella cool. Yeah, that's fucking adorable. I did not expect that. What? What? Pops, are you going? Yeah. Are you in Trino Swarm right now? Or are you? Or... Uh, yeah, I'm signing to you. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> using the voice. This. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absentmindedly. Um, very absentmindedly. Uh, almost like automatically. I'm translating yes. back and forth yeah. Yeah. throughout yeah. this entire time. <laughs> yeah, I gotta support him. Good. I'll, I'll probably lay low in the back so it doesn't yeah, make sure, everybody feel sure. weird about, you know. Sure. I tell him he needs to be in the front when he never listens. <laughs> you wanna go? I'm not spoil anybody's fun. To frick his concert. Father, you're not hard to look at. I don't think anyone would take offense. Oh, thank you. No, it's more of the position. I appreciate it. Oh, look, I'm going. Ruby may not know it, but but they're going to. You just hear him just, just make a low growl and unknowingly sign, shit. <laughs> Specifically in, in Fury. Uh, just concerned because he's like, fuck, I haven't been practicing. <laughs> Flint, Flint turns to Rumi and kind of gives him a look and specifically in Fury goes, they're, oh. they're doing this for you. She knows. And if you keep doing what you're doing to try to maintain and keep those memories away and not accept what they are, we're not gonna get out of here. I can't live through the pain again. I can't do it. So let's make sure that you don't. I know. At the very least, I'll get you through it. I couldn't be there for my family. I can be there for you. If you made me trust you, and we have to be there for each other, even if it's for 10 minutes, then at the very least, you could promise me that we will find the exit because you are good enough to make that happen. You will find the exit. We you will, all will be safe. find it. And then Rika looks at you deeply and goes, part of the flock. 
now. Go getting out. Let's go. Hell yeah, Greg. And all of you sense more than feel or see something shift in the tunnels in the cavern. There is a almost a retreat of the influence that you've been feeling, the overwhelming oppression, and it it's as if a weight lifts off of all of your shoulders. And you feel like um Flint, in particular, something clicks. You are near where you saw that pillar of light. You might be directly above it, maybe? We can take a moment here, but only a moment. And then we go on again. (sighs) Yeah, why don't you take a load off? (laughs) <laughs> I am physically incapable of taking a load off. Don't make me give you a piggyback. <laughs> She'll do it, it's embarrassing. We can take a minute, Last plus <laughs> we should think for a second. I, want it. I think, I think this is where we need to be. What, what, what's giving you that feeling? What do you got? If, if my feelings on it are right, <laughs> and I'm always right, Oh, I believe that. This, uh, this, this is the center. I don't know if we're above, I don't know if we're below, but it's here. We're very close. I can feel it too. At least I know it. I lost a pack before I was even... I was kinfolk, you know, human, adjacent, a partner to... A loved one, of a lore keeper. And then my pack, my family, my lover, all got swallowed up by this thing that crept inside the bottom of our stepwell. It shifted and changed. Each and every one of them was taken out until they were begging for release. And so I took their lives to give them mercy. And in return, they gave me a gift. You think we're close? I know we are. You are Guru by birthright. I, I am Guru by curse. I look at Father. And all, and this is when I think he does a hand sign that no one else understands, and it is specifically one that has been created between us. And you just see him go, "He hurts like I did." And I point him to you, basically saying, "Do you know what to do?" I do. I uh, carry this thing around. Means a lot of different things to a lot of people, you know. But uh, I think uh, the biggest part of it is stepping outside yourself and laying down your comfort for others. And I uh, kind of put my forehead on yours a little bit there, Rony. I meet your gaze. I step sideways. What do I see, Stormkeeper? You are immediately enveloped in a bright energy. It surrounds where you are standing, and it's difficult for you to make out your surround. You think you're still in the cavern. But what surrounds you is almost a healing energy. Have you taken any damage or any spent any willpower or lost any gnosis? Nope. Okay. 
and it feels very protective, almost um, shielding. And you can see shadows around it. On the perimeter or inside? On the perimeter. Outside it. Kind of like what they described, something Mm -hmm. trying to invoke it. Yes. Am I alone in here? Currently, yes. You feel a presence, but you don't see anyone. I'm just going to look into the light a little bit and see. Thank you. We're coming. I step right back. And he shifts back into view. Yeah, we're here. I thought you hated that. I do. There's something trying to press its way in. I know. Does it sound like we're in the center of the drumbeats, the rhythm that's happening, or is it still a ways away? You actually can't hear it right now. Oh. It hasn't gotten here yet. We're in a safe space. It's surrounding us, enveloping us. It's battering the walls, desperate to get in. But this place has stood firm. We're in a safe space. What do we do next? Wait, Flint. The, uh, the light you saw, right? Like, that's, is that light, do we know what it is? The light? Uh, is it, is it part of this thing or is it a, a beacon? Or what do we think? Storyteller. Um, does it, is the light somebody? What I felt. You don't think the light is someone, but you got the impression there was a presence behind the light. Somebody I'm familiar with. No. All right. If you wish to know what this place truly is, do what he just did. I'll go with you. Okay. We'll be here. Just do not venture outside this room. I think Pops already went and saw, and I trust your eyes. We don't have to go. You don't understand. You deserve all of you to feel what it feels like. I agree, Ver- Freka. You should go with him. Go on. You, you're okay with me. I'm always okay with you, son. No. I- <laughs> and that's all he needed. Instantly, he's like, steps to the side. Okay. I'll step. You all use a reflection and step sideways. Um, what would be the reflection around here? Like, you can see a reflection in each other's eyes. Uh, mm-hmm. You could use a phone to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, yeah. Some yeah. of you who are more experienced may actually, in fact, carry a small mirror. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, Rika doesn't have any of that because mm-hmm. uh, he's he doesn't like it and was told it's not something he's comfortable with so he's never tried it again flint grabs his face <laughs> um, oh uh, rika's face yeah okay reflection oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. and you step sideways and you experience the same thing and both of you do as well mm-hmm. yeah flint when you enter the space you can immediately feel the bruising and lacerations on your neck from yeah. when you were attacked heal and if any of you have taken willpower damage or lost gnosis, you regain it. Rumi. I think for the first time, Rika, I think he, I don't even think he's ever actually, he might have attempted it or accidentally stepped into it when he was much younger. Mm-hmm. And then he got chided by and was told that was not something that mm-hmm. father appreciated. So he's never tried it since, mm-hmm. but it's never been like this. I think the f- time he did it was near the, the 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 point of the building of religion. Okay. Uh, that uh, the father runs, so it didn't feel like this at all. So for the first time, 
in over two decades that he's felt this level of peace. Uh, and to him, it reminds him of a memory that he's long forgotten of essentially a gentle hand holding his head and like putting on his la- on, the, on the lap of that person, just like running mm-hmm. her hands through his hair and actually unknotting it and, and, and like grooming it and, and, and singing something in a language he's forgotten. And for someone with as much anger and rage as you have felt for so long, it's very unnerving to mm-hmm. lose it suddenly. He doesn't stick with that. Makes you want to throw up that feeling. I hate it. <laughs> I uh, I would like to take. I assume that this being in a safe position would be an okay place to have that have a discussion with my ancestors. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I would like to do that then. And for you, but sorry. For one of the first times this has happened, mm-hmm. when you step sideways, you immediately notice that your grandfather's spirit is already there. Basically waiting for you. I'm good. Okay, thanks. Hey. Um, it takes a second because normally it's that conversation has to come, mm-hmm. and it it takes a minute. So so seeing him, especially like in himself and not as you would normally, fuck shit up. Yep. So she breaks for a second in which she totally knows how he's feeling. And then you see that immediate garden and wall drop. So the very first thing that she asks is trying to figure out what this pillar of light is. And she's trying to do it in such a way that (laughs) she's saving face, Mm -hmm. but it's, I need to do this because I need to do this for them and for us, and for what I didn't get to do for you. He... pauses for a moment and says, this is a plug. This is, it's, it's a dam. It's holding something back. Whoever is creating this, however, has been doing it for a very long time. So this is old. It's been here for a long time, yes. I don't know exactly. How do we help it? I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. This is out of my, this is out of our tribe's scope. I don't even know if this is I don't know what's creating it. Whatever it is, it's further down. Have you seen the pack? The four? Yeah. No, but I have seen one of them. Where was he? With whoever is creating this. I can't see who is creating this. They're enveloped in it, but the other member of the pack is there. Together with them? Yes. Working together? Seems so. So they're they're helping. They're trying to, mm-hmm. to make this plug and keep it. Mm-hmm. But we don't know about the other three. I don't. But if you find them, they may be able to shed some light on it. Do you know what would help us find them? You're on the right path. I think... Whatever your friend is doing has given you an opening. Then we will keep going and I will do my best. You're close. I don't know how much I'm going to help you once you're there, though. But you can handle it. Goddamn right. She tells him that she loves him and she leaves. Just step sideways. Before they return, Mm -hmm. I think there's something you wanted to tell me. There is. 
Not on my flock, I call him my child or my son. That's, that uh, doesn't sound right with you. I, I don't know really where you're from or what you are to your people, but... I'm just one of many messengers, and I'm from Kashmir. That sounds pretty impressive. You've been given a lot for some people that you don't really know very well, and you've taken some, some taken some lumps from one old feller to another. You're limping around. I am. <laughs> I really am. There's balance in all things, though. Everything I give, everything I give, gives something to them. And everything they've given me, everything you all have, it's given something to me, too. Yeah. But there's no reason to do it in pain. I get it. Trust me, I get it with the, the, the amount of punishment I put myself through for something. But why don't you take a dip across the other side? It's nice over there. It would help me. I'm afraid of what I might see. Tell me something. Sure. Give me one thing, and I'll give you one thing back. And step. Deal. Why is it every time I call you attractive, you look away? My uh, people, they have a, uh, a thing. We do, we do for th um, people in my station. Take an oath. And it's... It's largely arbitrary, probably, but it means a lot to me. So, it's not that I don't appreciate it. But I can't let myself start thinking like that right now. C celibacy, vow, or not, you spend far too long hiding who you truly are. Mm -hmm. And having seen a glimpse of it, I'm very thankful. And as I gaze into his eyes, I step sideways. And you step sideways at the same time. Flint steps back. Father, you are not left alone for very long. Did you also step back? Um, he did. Yeah. But before he does, he kind of waits around and hears this song that he's forgotten um, but he kind of just takes it in lets the memory come in i actually have the song that i'm thinking about but i don't know if i can play it or if i should play it but ah uh, it's an old lullaby from a long long time ago um and he kind of just lets it get through the wall he's built kind of holds it cherishes it, lets it go, and then immediately raises that inner wall of his and steps back out. And you just see him look a little more at peace, uh, but much more resolute of who he is, what he's doing. He looks at Father and kind of gives him a genuine smile and then goes and sits down somewhere else. Okay. Go we'll sit right by him. Rumi, you step sideways. Please recover your spent gnosis, willpower, and health. A half your willpower. You've spent a lot. <laughs> and Kaylee. Mm -hmm. The area that you arrive in is incredibly peaceful, considering all the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to do while you're in the penumbra? Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think if it's peaceful here, it's a good time to feed Kevin. <laughs> um, and I, I would like to, to feed Kevin a chicken bone and play a game of tic-tac-toe and see if Kevin has anything he'd like to share with me <laughs> while I'm here. And please remind me what the fetish Kevin is. Uh, the does. rune stone. Uh, uh, it's for divination. For divination, yes. Can you 
make a intelligence and occult roll for me. I sure can. I sure can. No, it's not. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. One success. One success. Maybe you know what? I, I haven't spent any willpower. Yeah, I will spend a willpower. To okay. No difference. Okay. Whatever. You can re-roll three. Yeah, the, the 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 willpower allows you to re-roll up to three. Up to three. Oh, okay. Successes. Still, <laughs> one success. Okay. I will just is bide my little time. The dice have spoken. I can't help you either because I'm. Mm-hmm. I've already stepped over. That's all right. One success is one success. We'll see what's there. Okay. The message that you get, the image that flashes across is confusing. Uh, It's difficult for you to interpret, but you get the feeling you're gonna have to make a choice. You're gonna have to make a decision soon that will affect everyone. Do I get the feeling that I'm going to have to make a decision? Or that like the collective me is going to have to make a decision. Roll 1d10. Okay. Six. Collective. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's not on me. (laughs) Not on only me. So. Thanks, Kevin. I feed him an ice cream cone and I step sideways. Okay. And Rumi, temporarily you are left alone in this bright energy. I call upon the shadow that's been hunting me. Mm -hmm. You're watching, I know you are. Haunting me, cursing me. Come show your face if you're so powerful. In this one place, that you were too weak to do anything. And nothing happens because you know that that negative energy is at the end of the day cowardly and you are better than it. You took enough. And now I take from you. I close my eyes. I kneel down on the ground. I do something ancient and old. Something most people wouldn't understand. And then I come back in the center of the room and stand up on my feet. (sighs) Onward? Let's fucking rodeo. Yeah, let's go. Good. About fucking time. About fool and time. <laughs> <laughs> and we will take our break. Okay. We'll be back in about five minutes to Ew. find out what happens next. Now that I've chewed oh. this pencil halfway to fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs>
welcome back. When we left off, we were at a safe point, essentially. And you all feel maybe not at peace, but a little more calm and resolute about what you're doing here. Rika, uh, you're still in Krenos form, of course, but mm. you like the video games. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, when you've been going for a while and you get, like, a bunch of health and ammo. Usually means shit's about to hit the fan, right? And you just see him, like, there's a moment of, he's just, like, thinking, and then suddenly his eyes just widen and goes, and as you know, that's the sound he goes, fuck. <laughs> he kind of just looks around and um, he changes into his regular form. He goes, fuck. Uh. Imagine that you escaped a horde of angry sharks by running into a cage. What are you going to do when they leave the cage? We double their efforts. Your father's right. It's going to get worse. Mm. Even worse. Mm. So I would like to shift back to Hamid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that I can relay the information that I was told. Okay. Uh, and let them know about the one of the wolves that is with the person who is supporting this light. It's it's literally a form of protection. I don't I don't know who's doing it. And I don't know which of the wolves are with them. But we need to keep going to find the other three. Other three, what do you mean? Where the other the three wolf? wolves. There are four. Yeah. One of them is working with the thing, keeping this plug intact. Yes. Oh, And the sorry. other three are Lord knows where. They're here. But what where kind of state they're in. Yeah. But we need to try. You all seem a little bit better than before. That at least is good. Don't tell anybody. I wouldn't tell us all. I... Look. Allow me to guess. Some. This doesn't pass the vibe check. <laughs> I. What does that mean? I don't know. Think okay. that's very funny because I do have a skill proficiency called vibe check, but <laughs> that's not this. I just was gonna say that I talked to Kevin, and by talk to I mean I. The the the. Fed him the, some oh, the little. Oh, the The yes. The insinuation I got, it's not the clearest message I've ever gotten from him, to be fair. I've gotten clearer ones. But he says that we're going to have to make a choice as a group. And it didn't seem like it was like margarita pizza versus grandma style. It seems more like it wasn't a vibe sure i don't know why you're all forcing the vibe thing on me i am just saying that we're gonna have to make a choice and i have a feeling that it has to do with the state in which we're gonna find some of the wolves and i just want to make sure that we're prepared to do the best possible job to get them out. Recognizing that they may not get out is one of the first things that you can do for everybody and yourself, but we're gonna do our best. Okay, I can accept that. That's, that's honestly, that's very helpful for you. <laughs> I think that's like, good. So Rika? You, Rika, come down to your level, please. Wait, uh, how tall is Kaylee? A solid 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five, three. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, because not that much Bump taller. Yeah. yeah, she's taller than me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you see Rika kind of bend down and he goes, Remember when you asked if uh, we could be friends? Yeah. I still don't know about that. Oh, okay. But I made a promise. And that was to make sure all of us were safe. 
and if it means what it means, if it's necessary, whatever it takes, we will make out alive from this. Okay. Is he trying to be reassuring? I... He's, he's done a pretty good job for him. Good. I... It's not a friendship bracelet, but it's a start. Mm -hmm. People still here. Nope. <clears throat> Whatever. All right. So first things first. If this pack is like us, they made it here too. Which means there should be some sign of them left about. Give me a moment. Keep your eyes out. See if you can find anything that signifies their presence. Best know what state they're in. Can I do some sort of check to see if they reached this place before us? Give me wits and investigation. I would also like to do that. Yeah. Anyone who would like to make. Yeah. Okay. It's an investigation, right? Mm. Wits and an investigation? Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's two. A, two. That's a one. Two. 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 Yeah. One. A one. A one. And a two. Two. And a two. three. And a four. Nope. Nope. No threes and fours, <laughs> just ones and twos. Oh, good lord. <laughs> You don't notice anything immediately. You don't notice anything within the area you're in. But as you're looking around and, um, Rika, I believe you had actually moved to, off to the side mm -hmm. to be alone for a minute. Yeah. Outside of this area, as the shadows start to drift back into the tunnels, you do see a glyph. Cliff? A glyph. Glyph. Okay. Carved into the wall. Hmm. It, do I understand? It's it's a sign that they were here and that they came through this area. Hey, mm -hmm. um, there's one more here. I don't know what it means. It just I'll take a look at it. Is it the same glyph I've seen before? Mm -hmm. The wrongness. It's the it's the directional like uh -huh. we came through this path. It's one just a marker, trail marker. We're doing this. We're doing this. And once again, I take a deep breath and I start to lead. Okay. You move into the tunnel out of the light. The weight settles back in. The air gets heavy again, but it, it's, it's not as bad. It's more bearable. Does everyone follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. trot up beside him and kind of maybe get under his, his uh, arm a little bit, help lift him up a little bit. So, come on, old man. It's cool. I'm not that old. I'm only like 69. Nice. Uh, not that again. You're not that much older than me. Let's go. <laughs> what a pair we make. Okay. Can you carry on? As you move, the sound comes back, the shadows filter back in, the darkness resumes, but you notice that the cavern seems to be opening up. There is, there are points where you can't see the walls on either side. You are deeper underground and you suspect that you may actually be beneath the lake as opposed to kind of going through the ground beneath the island at this point. Michaeli, mm -hmm. when you were young, what was the thing you were most terrified of? Why? Why does that matter? Because sometimes by viewing the, eye, the problems with the eyes of a child, we realize that, you know, Sometimes comparing fears means that one seems smaller in comparison. Uh, yeah, I mean, I grew up a wolf in the middle of the woods. I was afraid of... people? Fire? Uh... I, a little later on, uh, beige? The beige. color beige? <laughs> it's just... and like beige foods? It's... 
Mm. You know? And yet you've conquered them all. No, I still don't eat beige foods. To be honest, most of the world looks beige to me. I'm colorblind. Oh. <laughs> most wolves are. Did you not? He's the, he's the one that's leading us. He's uh, been the one that's leading us, right? How do you know what beige is then? I know how to look at a child. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just made me wonder. No, I'm gonna touch it. Not. It's fine. Touch it. It's fine. I've dealt with worse. Anyway, I nothing I was scared of as a kid could disappear whole packs or Ever ruin whole villages. Yourself. People can. Oh, people can. I'm yeah. And so I'm still afraid of people. them and took their skin. I mean, sure, you paid for it, but still. You took somebody's skin? I don't know what that means. No, I uh, am... Well, humans wear second skins. We all do, I have noticed. I, we have a, I have a human form. I was, I meant know. clothing. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh this is wool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say like you're a... wool in sheep's, sheep's clothing? <laughs> Oh no, no, this is not happening. Yes, no, that's exactly. This is not happening. That happened. That definitely happened. <laughs> I got one. You're next, Rika. Fuck. Get out of here fast now. <laughs> I like it. I thought that was funny. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah. I grew up afraid of clear skies. Clear skies. All right, you're going to have to expend upon that one there. No, I'm not. All right. <laughs> oh, I'd appreciate it. Can you remind me of one something? Day. Two things. Mm. One, uh, did anyone shift back into Krenos, or are you all in Hobbit at this point? I think I'm in Hobbit right now. Mm. Yeah, I think we're all okay. Back to uh, although I think, I think eventually uh, Rika will go back once it's once he's done speaking. Okay. Mm. Uh, and come now that when, you're moving and kind yeah. of traveling, yeah, he'll yeah. Go back shifted into, back. Okay. Yeah, he'll shift back. Okay. Can everyone make me a wits and awareness roll? Wits oh. and what? Awareness. Thank you. Oh, I still bonus. get the three for being in. Right yes. Uh, no, you don't get that. That's specifically because you have bonuses to um, your strength and your. Um, so for this, you're actually just getting a plus one bonus. Okay, that sticks. <laughs> oh. One, two, two, two. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. That's a. That's a four. Two. You got. Uh, oh, yeah. One, two. Two with stars. Oh, that's yep. all. Well, it's just these four. So, okay. So it's just these four. So. Yeah, and these five, sorry, I was five. So one, two, three, four, five. And so if it's two It's a crit stars, there's two star crit criticals, it counts as four total. Okay, oh, so four, four seven. So Rika, you are the only one who notices, unfortunately, as the blade slides into your ribs. <clears throat> and you feel burning. As I... silver slices you open and then it's just gone and you just see Rika fall to the ground and he just goes mm. what happened uh, I shift and you, you see him open his hands and it's just blood on his is hat. there blood there there is and you will take how much health do you have uh Six? No, yeah, six. You'll take two aggravated damage. Ah! So I have I have some some touch in medicine. Mm-hmm. Would it be possible for me to at least make sure that we can stop the bleeding? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Before all this, I just am, I'm immediately right there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what happened? And I, I sign Silver Blade in the dark. Watch out. I, I'd like to use a just gift, gets up and just... storyteller. I'd like to use a gift if I can. Mm-hmm. Place my hand on the wound, and I'd like to use Mother's Touch if I can. You can. Go ahead and make your gnosis check. All right. Um, storyteller, I, I have a question. Yes. I, I, I will see if this goes off on its own, but if not, is it possible to also use that and assist in if I have the same gift? Yes. Is this, okay. And Breath of the Wild. Uh, that won't apply in this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Seven. 
seven success. And remind me what that gift does. Um, let's read it here. Thank you very much. Um, um, channel, channel your spiritual power into your hands, healing whomever you're touching. Uh, dice pools, wisdom plus medicines. Um, heal the person you're touching for a number of superficial damage equal to the number. I don't know oh, if it's anything it's or not. Aggravated. Mm-hmm. It, this is, so this is aggravated damage. Uh-oh. So I don't know that. It won't actually apply. You don't actually. And for the rest of you, you will see Oren's hands glow as he touches mm. Rika's side. And you feel slightly better temporarily, but as he withdraws his hands again, it did not heal. Mm. No. And as you're all distracted, Flint, you feel a burning blade slash across the back of your leg as it attacks again, and you will take two aggravated damage as well. Okay. Okay. Um, Do we hear the attack on Flint? Did they make it? I'm gonna be making a lot of fucking noise, so you're goddamn right somebody heard it to where I'm immediately. Wait. Shift back into Hamid. Shift. I wasn't Hamid. You were? Yeah. Is this thing... All right. Do we not get to see you? Show yourself, you cut (laughs) swallow. Wait. I I shift. And you you just hear that. I cackle. I would like to use Eye of the Hunter. Remind us what Eye of the Hunter does. <laughs> so, do, 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 do. I have the hunter easily identifies the weakest member of a group as if stalking your prey. Dice pulls on wits and survival, successfully able to identify weakest member of a group like a wolf isolating prey. Okay, give me a gnosis roll. Uh, that is five, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it that I look for again? For uh, it's going to be your what's marked as humanity or oh. willpower. So five. five. Okay. And you're running with Did you want to um, make a roll to see if I know what could oh, um, help we, us catch the next person uh, on the guitar? Yeah. Uh, um, you can double check with him. I don't. Question. Yes. To the, well, two part. A would pack tactic still be on from? Yes, but it would, will not apply to to fight each other. Okay. Um, um, this will apply once you are actually fighting. Got it. Got it. Not um, just for this. I would. Can I use? Will pull on the, yeah, the last one. Uh, roll? No, no. Okay. One success. One, We're double fine. checking okay. something right. too. So. Okay. All right. So with one success, um, do I need to re-roll anything? Oh, wits yep. and wits and survival. Survival. Wits and survival. And survival. And then being in kin form. Still. It won't affect plus. anything for this. Okay. Four. Come on, baby. Two success. Okay. You're able to immediately isolate the same information that you are suspecting, which is this is a single attacker, mm-hmm. and they are shifting in and out of the umbra to mm-hmm. attack through shadow. Okay. And I'm watching. At, you see Rika kind of just smacks his face, and he gets down all four. And... Uh, Go ahead and give me a wits and awareness roll. With and plus just, one. Yeah. So it's and you can give it to me as well. Uh, wits and awareness. Don't you don't get the plus one. Three success. Ooh. Four. You both see the glint of light off a silver blade as it shifts out of the shadows behind Orin, moving towards him. I rage. Yeah. Why don't you give me that attack roll? and add five red dice to it for your rage. Uh, so that's... You can uh, also react. Oh, like I completely forgot. Hmm. Um, so I need to double check this, but I have resist pain. Nice. You do. Yes. So while well, you're working on yeah. that. Um, attack roll in sense of which would be that? Uh, at this point, you're probably attacking with uh, <laughs> strength yeah. and yeah. brawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I and for brawl, just want to double check. So I have a specialty in natural weapons, which is what my that is correct. Uh, what does that do? Exactly? You're gonna get an extra die for it plus plus two dice. 
plus two dice for pack mm. tactics. Okay. I'm oh no, that's to... plus two, plus two for natural weapons, and then plus two for yes. pack tactics. Thank you. Four. Okay. Um, so. I am going to shift into Krinos mm. and try and disarm this thing. This is the first time you have shifted into Krinos in front of everyone. What does it look like? It is grotesque. There's the sound of snapping bones and tendons. It sounds painful, and if you catch enough of a glimpse of Rumi's face, it looks painful. Uh, his muzzle starts to sprout brown, dark brown fur, almost going into black. And that, well, that spreads across the rest of his body as his arms sharpen to claws, and his legs just poke up, so he's on the balls of his feet, and a tail swishes behind him. The back on his back, there is almost like a burn scar of five different words in five different languages. And there are five splotches of different pelts, almost stitched across there. Metal. <laughs> oh, okay. my heart hurts for um, you. So good. So double checking some yes. my math to be sure. So two, four pack tactics. Yes. Plus two for yes. using natural weapon. Yes. Plus my brawl. Yep. Uh, so that'd be so that'd be four. That'd be eight. Um, being in my garu form. Yep. That's another. Is that add plus two? Plus two. Okay. Um, you were raging. <laughs> and then, and well, then all of your rage dice. And then all my rage dice because you are. A room. Yeah. I'm going to rage five. Actually, I'm going to use this. I forgot this was right there. <laughs> roll this to quick. disarm the thing. Yes. What roll would you require for me? I'm going to require a dexterity and melee roll. Do I have plus three dice for Krenos? Mm -hmm. You do. And I have one rage die left that I've not spent. You're going to use it? Okay. Three. Question. Uh, four on the d20. Oh, not the, d the, the regular. A four yeah. is a fail. Fail. Okay. One, two. I'm going to spend a willpower for okay. that. Three. Okay. Uh, three on the regular dice. Mm -hmm. One with a claw on the red. Okay. And then one skull. The skull won't two affect it. Two skull. Sorry. Do you have skull. any? I can see one, so I know the answer is yes. Here. But you have a this is with stars. So that is that is a crit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So that's okay. I saw. So okay. you had four, six. Okay. So that's six success. I haven't gone frenzied, right? No. Okay. You didn't frenzy. I okay. spent willpower mm -hmm. to get five successes. Okay. So you six have six to attack, oh. and you have five to try to disarm. Well, oh, fuck disarming this thing. Well, let's see how this goes. Um... If possible, can I use willpower? How does how does using willpower in this situation work? You that? can spend a willpower, which you cross one off, to reroll up to three dice. You cannot reroll your rage dice. Okay, so reroll three blank blank ones, correct? Yep. Okay, so we'll do that. Oh shit. So that's one more. So, so seven total. Seven total. Seven ties with seven, and goes to the player yes. in this case plus you are assisting each other you dive you are going to take one aggravated damage what as the blade you? slashes across your arm as you stop him from sinking it into father Orin. and rumi you snap out and pull the blade from his hand without actually touching the silver and so you have that blade now i what i would like to do is essentially so I can, do I see just the arm that's holding the blade? You see a form almost entirely composed of shadow. I step, step away from the wall. So my goal was to mm -hmm. attack and harm it. Yep. The other thing about using my, cause I was using my- um, Your bone dagger. My own bone yep. dagger. It adds plus two aggravated assault. Mm -hmm. So um, that's just pure damage. Pure damage. That's fine. perfect. I go and so I you just... knock the blade out of the way from hitting father and sink your own dagger into the shadow as you pull the blade out of its hand. You had seven success. There's no margin, but that's two aggravated. Okay. The shadow s 
shifts off the blade, almost like it's not actually stuck in anything physical, but it, it you can tell it's recoiling mm. and it vanishes. But you have the knife. It is uncomfortable to hold, but it is not dealing you damage. I hold on to it even tighter okay. and I shift back into Hamid. Okay. May I do something? You may. This just happened, right? Yes. Uh, I want to drop my dice and I want to. <laughs> Uh, As we do. I would like, correct me if I'm, I'm, I'm doing the order of these things in an illogical way, but I would like to uh, be prepared for rage. I would like to step sideways mm -hmm. and I would like to attack the first like shadow. <laughs> okay. See. You step sideways. There is a figure. It is grotesque. You see skin melting off in places, blotchy, dark patches, just like inky dark, like mm -hmm. almost like there isn't a form there in certain spots, completely malformed. Mm -hmm. And it is pouring black inky blood out of its shoulder where it was stabbed and it is moving away from you at this point. No, okay. I attack it. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna use my rage yeah, so for that as well. All right. As she's shifting and moving to attack, mm -hmm. I, I will absolutely follow her. Okay, so you also step sideways immediately after yep. Haley. Okay. So that's gonna be uh, four successes total. Only one of those was on my rage die. Okay, uh, you, uh, how do? How are you attacking? You're just slashing? I'm going to claw. Okay, you just claw into it and hear your claws rend through flesh. And it falls, but it is still moving away from you. I stay on it as much as I can, uh, hoping that everyone else was watching and is okay. following I, me. I, uh, I yell at her to baseball it my way. Like literally throw it to me. Okay. Do you? Yeah. All right. You just sink your. So like in, sink it in and shut toss. Them. Yeah. And there is this grotesque form flying through the air toward you. <laughs> <laughs> the bodies at the floor. Uh, so I am I am mid shift as I mm -hmm. as I see her pick this thing up to lob it my direction. Yep. Uh, to shift my form. Um, I am choosing to resist the pain because I do I do have the aggravated wounds. Yep. Um, but I'm I'm gonna ignore that because this thing hurt me, so I'm I'm gonna hurt it back. What do you do? Uh, catch it by its head mm -hmm. is what I'd like to do. Okay. Um, and use my spur claws. Oh yeah. Go ahead and give me strength and brawl. Give me dex and brawl. Dex and brawl. Yes. Okay. You get dex. plus. Uh, you still get plus three to that. Yep, and then I have plus two for my barbs. Yep. And then I also get... Ba, 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 plus ba, ba. two. Yep, plus two again. Yeah, so it's plus four total. Yep. So plus seven. Or plus one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I think I've got that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, five. You catch it and sink your claws into the skull and it gives way <laughs> and just a wet sobbing mess and the body slips out of your hand and splats against the floor the black inky blood just coating your claws <laughs> okay fucking worth it and you yeah. see another one Shh. just slink off into a shadow and vanish like it was watching well, that's not good. Do you think they're going to come back anytime soon? How are you doing, boy? And you see, he's tr he's toughing it out, but he is hurt. He is. Um, you see the blood where it got he got slashed on the arm, like bleed is bleeding pretty profusely. You see the stab wound that he's trying to cover up is bleeding out. Um, He's very much breathing a little heavy. Um, he goes, and he just signs. You gotta keep moving. Father, I. You take the boy. I can stand alone for a night. A small while. Oh, I also have resist pain. 
You do. Keep an eye on him. Before he does something ridiculous. Now, there's no preventing that. Those of you who took damage. Yes. While in Krenos, you can roll Mm. your Gnosis to convert aggravated damage to superficial. It's like spending you. It's like rolling Gnosis to activate a gift. Mm. So if you fail the roll, you will have to. You will lose a dot of Gnosis. Okay. I think yeah. You see, it doesn't uh, heal it, but it converts it to superficial and then p- powers like. I'll take that hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um, uh, what do we? So just roll. Roll your Gnosis. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um. Cool. Two. Uh. So two onk. So two success. Yep. And then is what is a nine? Uh, also a success. Mm-hmm. Just a regular success. Regular success. Yeah. So four success. You both are act successfully. Can be, how many did you get? One. One. You can. How many? And then you took two. Two. You convert one of those to superficial. I'll you take convert it. all of all three that you oh. took. Was it, it, the the slash on your arm was one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, I may have forgotten to say it, but it was. <laughs> so <laughs> um, to be superficial is it just the the. So the slash of the box is superficial. The it's X not. in the box is aggravated. It's not. Yeah. That's the issue with the character sheet. Well, it's, Don't worry about it's it. It's superficial now. Yep. Yeah. Now it can be healed. Do I see this? Uh, you just see Vrika, and you've probably seen this before, sure. maybe like when he's gotten into fights when he was younger, mm-hmm. um, where he looks down and he's just down. He goes, <laughs> and he just starts, oops, sorry, starts like, like hitting his knee and like smacking his face. Hey. <sighs> <sighs> Thumbs up. <laughs> I try and kind of grab your hand and don't don't hit yourself. And, uh, I'm going to look at the wound again. Okay. I'd like to try again with the gift of uh, yeah. Of, uh, Go ahead. Large touch. And I'll, uh, I'll I'll give it a shot on you too. Perfect. So uh, hey, you, we sh- should we go over first? I'm not sticking around with that shit. They'll be back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you go back. Um. It'll just be the um. Or the required roll for once yeah. touches. All right. So uh, that's that's uh, yeah. That's at least one crit and two successes. Okay. Uh, for that's noses. Medicine. Yep. And then, All right. Uh, three. You can take up to three. Three. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you only I only have one. one of them was yeah. so you, you can only, take the you one. You can heal the one. Yep. So I'll take that. Okay. All right. So, so that's nice. Two I uh, feel better already. Mm-hmm. That's uh. I'd like to burn a wisdom. Okay. And reroll one day. Okay. It's another one. How you many get, total? You get one back. I oh, think. Nice. 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 Okay. Bird. 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 You hear him sigh, like with a bit of relief, because some of that pain has gone away. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and he kind of just leans in and touches his snout against your forehead as a thank you. Scratch him behind the ear. It's like that time you fought the raccoon in the alley. Yes. <laughs> what? A big I, a raccoon. <laughs> Look, raccoons don't mess around, okay? Don't be messing with no raccoons. I'm not bandaging more of you. Oh. I'll take a raccoon. I will not. You don't want any of it, I promise. I'd much no. rather wrestle with what These are does. Icarus demons. So are raccoons, I think. <laughs> 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 You're not wrong, especially in urban Atlanta. <laughs> um, they also carry knives. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ten of them. <laughs> yeah, and you see Rico kind of stand up and kind of shrug it off. Uh, still kind of wincing a little bit in pain, but and he kind of just does this. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. Okay, and you keep moving. Onward and forward. Onward and downward. Here we go. I'd like to use Pathfinder again. Go for it. It's been a bit. It has been a bit. As you continue moving forward, as I described earlier, the the cavern feels like it's opening. You notice a few paths branching off that Rumi seems to ignore. This is kind of low power. Okay, that's better. Um, Five successes with a crit. It, with renewed purpose, you feel like you know the exact path you need to follow. Almost like something's pulling, drawing you there at this point. And I think with a crit, I even get there faster than should be possible. You do. And 
all of you move around a corner in the pathway and the fairy lights vanish. You're plunged into pitch darkness. Okay. Do we feel the taint of the worm while we're here? Like even more? I can do sense worm for that. Go for it. Cause I'll let you know right now it will be positive as a piercing howl. But cuts through the darkness. I can at least know where it is. You can. Which is the concern here. Mm-hmm. Because uh listen, with the in the nah, not happening to me. We're not doing mm-hmm. that again. Mm-hmm. I'll fight God first. Mm-hmm. First three. No reason to talk like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, sorry, sorry. I I will fight he, and he other shadows. He met the other god. Oh, there, there's three. <laughs> so. Uh, did I need to do gnosis for that first? Yes. Okay, so gnosis is good. That's fine. And then, how many is it for since when? I'm having a moment. I'm sorry. No, it's not a poem. Oh, what's an occult? That's right. Yeah. Sorry. So three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Directly ahead of you, along what, what you saw right before the light vanished, along the right-hand side of the pathway, stronger than the, the rest of the corruption surrounding you, is where this piercing howl emanates from. As soon as... I hear the howl in the direction. And it doesn't sound like it's Garu, right? Oh, it does. Okay. Yes. I Uh. immediately clap Rick on the shoulder. Hmm. I shake my head no. You you cannot see that right now. I, (laughs) I, I hold on to their shoulder and I rub up and down. Listen to me carefully. Remember that it was a glass walker who walks among the thing holding this place. That is that glass walker. I would like all of you to make a willpower roll. If I may. If you're unspent willpower. Mm-hmm. No. If, I, if I may. Oh. Though, mm-hmm. yes. uh, that's like all of my You hear, you, he hears you, and he, he goes, 11? he taps the soul, shoulder as right. if he's her. Wait. And then you just see him Wait, once like again get on oh, all no, fours, okay. kind like, of bellow I'm up, confused. and you just take some deep breath and then howls. I will need you to make the willpower roll first. Got it. Uh, what was my oh, five? Two. Okay. I should have read what I needed to roll. Two. That's two. Contestant. Uh, eight best. is a success too, right? Yes, eight is a success. Three. Six and up. Three. Also, if you're not familiar with the system, if you you cannot spend willpower to re-roll willpower. It's okay, I'm dead. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> You're good, baby. Are you gonna punch some dice there, DM? Or it's it's okay. storyteller? It's okay. <laughs> one, success. okay. Two, three, two, one. What was your success? Okay, you are all frozen oh. in fear as this horror washes over you because the sound you hear isn't right. This is some. There's a broken, cracked quality. Like something is wrong with whatever emanated the noise. And then something the same size as you barrels into you, Ricka, knocking you backward. And the paralysis breaks. Storyteller. Could I use desperate strength to break out of this? Uh, what does that do? 
I didn't look it up first. I just wrote it down over here. So. Uh, desperate strength is add one die to any feat of strength. So no, not no. in this particular right. um, But I think I can do scent of true form here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I would like to do that. Okay. So that's intelligence and a okay. cold. So oh. you are going to do scent of true form. What are you going to do? I, we heard this thing make a noise. Uh, right, does it sound um, like the way we do when we howl? Like as in it is like a biological sound? Yes, but wrong. But wrong? All right, I'm focusing on the wrongness here. I'm not talking to anything. And I would like to go out on a really wild limb because I can't think of anything else to do. Uh, And I'm going to uh, say, hey, bucko, I I don't much care for this. I, I don't. I've had it up to here. Up to your shillelaghs? Up to <laughs> several shillelaghs over my height. And I, I really cannot anymore. You let go of all of this. You let go of whatever you've got your little tendrils stuck into. And you come and talk to me right this instant. Uh, and I'm going to cast Spirit Snare. Okay. On <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I I don't I don't know that that's gonna really work. Before you do spirit snare, I would like to verify with scent mm-hmm. to make sure that we're headed the right direction. Which I aced that roll. So yeah. okay, yeah. five success. Was it a critical? No. No. Okay. This you, it, it, this is a garu. Yeah. It is heavily corrupted by the worm, but not in a way that makes it not garu. It, it's it's a not exclamation Garu. So it's it's literally trying to do its best at this point to to it's like pulling pulling ash off the skin and like sloughing off things and mm-hmm. it's dirty basically. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I would like to relay that information before you make that attempt. Just to clarify for you who is more familiar, this does not sound like a black spiral dancer. It sounds like something else. I would like to shift into Lupus. Okay. So you're going to shift into lupus. You take uh, two superficial, by the way, from it slamming into you. It, so and you, there's no defense against it because you were so that's frozen. Four superficial total. Total so far. Total. Yeah. Which is fine. You should okay. be fine. Okay. Okay. Um, I as I get knocked back, you see him get like stop himself like dragging his nails on yeah. the ground as he's sliding back and then you just see him look up and he does he bellows out the howl that he's been holding on at, at yeah. this creature and in just in that direction where he heard oh it's this it's on you it's directly it's slammed into you and pushed you backward oh, right but is it still right yeah, right it's right in your face so oh, you're yeah. howling into its face yeah Perfect. i will do that before we before you do anything Six successes. Six successes. And what exactly does that ability do? So it holds, now I, know, I know this is a little bit of a, a limb. I'm not sure if this will apply to this thing, but it holds a spirit in place uh, in in order for me to be able to speak with it. Okay. You aren't sure what effect it has had yet. Okay. But it, it is successful. Okay. You just aren't sure exactly what it did yet. Yep. It, because okay. it's pitch dark, you can't quite see yet. Mm-hmm. And it already wasn't moving. <laughs> okay. So, are we, are we still paralyzed? No, it, oh. bro- it broke. Well, after it slammed into Rika, the, it broke for all of us. It broke for all of you. All right. Question. Yes. Um, in this scenario, outside of the regular rolls, would the. Canid bonus apply. Krenos. Krenos almost. Uh, for the howl you're about to do, um, what, is, what are the stats it uses for the roll? Uh, it is uh, I, stamina, or not stamina. Um, I took that again. I, I, okay. saw, I read it. Uh, howl in the night. For me, I use cr- uh, stamina and intimidation. You get plus one to the roll. Plus you one. have a plus one to your stamina. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Um, and then the pack, would that apply? Yeah. Okay, pack deck doesn't. Um, and then you need to make a willpower check. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, can I use a willpower? You can. 
to re-roll up to three Up dice. to three. Okay. As long as they're blank. Yeah. 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 Uh, four. Successes. You can actually re-roll successes. Oh. You just can't re-roll rage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's to prevent uh, messy critical mm. things. Gotcha. Um, so four successes. Four successes beats there too. Yes! And what exactly does that power do? So it essentially either makes you lose a turn or run in fear. Okay. Uh, you see... I can read it out loud. Let me read it out. Uh, Howl in the dark. Howl in the night. Yeah. Unleash a supernatural howl, striking fear into the creature of the worm nearby, causing them to make willpower checks to run in fear or lose a turn. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. On a successful roll, any creature with worm taint in the area panic and either lose a turn or flee from you for a number of turns equal to the successes. Okay. We don't want them getting away. I feel like they use the same power, but a reversed version of us. Mm-hmm. It... You, because of how close it is, you feel it tense as if it wants to move and flee, and it can't. I I take that moment to just slam its head to the ground and hold it in, in place. Okay. Before you do that, you shifted to lupus. I, it's kind of a moot point now. I wanted to track its movements and see if I could relay that to the others via no. means mind speak. Okay. It, it it slammed into Vrika and then stayed there because it was going to attack mm-hmm. him again, but I'm giving everyone a chance to react. I am going to take my front paws and just put them on its back. Okay. And growl it. And you are a weighty wolf in lupus form, so mm-hmm. you are applying considerable pressure. Could, could you say we're causing a dog pile? <laughs> I'd uh, like to use command the gathering. Ooh. Okay. Um, do I need to roll notes for that? You will. All right, let's do that first. That's uh, two successes. Okay, you're fine. All right. Um, and then that looks to be a charisma and persuasion mm-hmm. Okay. And what is what are the effects of the ability? The gift? Uh, you draw eyes to you, demanding the attention of everyone around you. Okay. On a successful roll, you become the center of attention on the crit. You gain a bonus to swaying people to what you have to say. Okay. Can I make an argument on behalf of my friend mm-hmm. here? They have preaching as a specialty for persuasion. They do. I'm gonna give you an extra bonus dice for this. All right, so that'll be a boatload of dice then. All right. Because that's done us favors so far. <laughs> we do our best. Me, I'm favors. <laughs> All right, that's a, a boatload of dice. Uh, one, two. <laughs> Out of all of that, two successes. Two. You know what, You're, though? That I, is success. All right. And so you command the attention of everyone, including this creature. Yeah. Is it still pitch black in here? It is. All right, you. And all of you, really. And anybody else hiding in the shadows. There's no need for us to fight. We're all children of the creator. We're not the monsters here. We that go bump in the night. We're family. There'd be no reason for us to fight. Let down your guard. Open your hearts. Let's talk. Looking around. Are there others drawn to the sound of... You don't hear anything. You wanted to slam its head into the ground. <laughs> Just kind of <laughs> as a grab, almost like a grab, to hold okay. it in place. I will, you will not need to roll because it cannot react currently. It is both held in place and lost its next turn. I'm I'm curious. I still, we can't, none of us can see it still? Correct. You can't see each other either. You can't see each other. I would like to just shut my eyes and stop trying to see. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, are you ready to talk? And listen. There is a weak growl 
in reply. That's good. <laughs> That's a good start. Something. Let's have a chat. Would it be better if I were a wolf right now? The growl that you receive is not a friendly one. That's fine, as long as you're talking. You just see, um, oh, I can't speak it, I can't. Oh, no way. I would like to take a shot at something. Mind speak doesn't require me to have a voice. Nope. Yep. Yes. I can't see this thing, but I can touch my head to it. Yeah, you can touch it. You are touching it. Yeah. I'll, I'll count that as line of sight. <laughs> I would like to speak to this creature. Okay. And first I must roll Gnosis. That's five with a crit. Okay. Not with that. Oops. What's an occult? <laughs> rocking your Gnosis checks and then... <laughs> Getting ones and twos on the follow-ups. <laughs> it's better than nothing. It is. That is four successes. Hey. You reach out with your mind and are immediately hit with a wave of pain. And broken thought. Whatever you are touching is no longer a creature of Gaia. Something completely changed it. What the the response you get, you would not even call it Garu. Show me the way and I will help set you free from this. Let me help you, please. There is no change in response. I'm going to keep talking to it. Okay. I've got a few turns. Reaching into its mind. I'm looking for reactions. Any reactions. Any flashes of anything that I can hook onto. Nothing. You do get, at one point, a mental image. And what you see horrifies you. It is... The easiest way to describe it is if you zombified a werewolf. Do I know of any way I can break break them free of this? No. This whatever this creature is, it's already dead. I get close to it. Allow me to help you. And I'm gonna bite down on its neck. Okay. You're restraining it. Mm-hmm. It's being held by the spirit snare. And it's also uh, at least for one turn. Captivated. It's, it's mm-hmm. in fear. And... Go ahead and roll strength and um, roll. And you get a plus one to bite attacks and do this. Just watch this fade. One success. <laughs> You injure it, certainly. I think I... It does not cry out in pain, though. I bite down further. I do not let go. I will say, for the sake of brevity, you end this creature's suffering. What just happened? Uh, uh, We were... There wasn't any fixing it. I wasn't trying to fix it. It's not, it's not worth it anymore. I stand up and brush my Korta as I've shifted back. Okay. I saw into its mind. Okay. It was, it wasn't just beyond fixing. It was in pain and tortured. Whatever it was, forget not a creature of Gaia anymore. There are creatures that are not of Gaia that can still be personable. Humane. This was like a trapped animal waiting to be freed. Okay, and it had the corruption in it, right? Yes, it did. 
I just think maybe we could have tried to connect with that. I tried to communicate with it. I tried. I tried. We tried to communicate with a wolf we both agree was not there anymore. So what are you going to do about it now it's dead? You going to fix it? You going to bring it back? Next time. Be a necromancer now? I'll let you take the lead. Tell me what to say and I'll say it. If it comes down to having to speak with my head. I'm just saying we're going to come across this again. Yes, we are. Then we'll figure something out before we do. But right now, it's dead. I am fully understanding that. I'm just saying we could just act a little more, you know. I know. I am sorry. That's all right. Like, I guess we'll just move on. I reach down to it. Mm -hmm. Is it still the same furry body that we had before? Has it shifted into something else as it died? So the body you touch isn't exactly furry. The tendrils, almost like roots that you that attached you earlier, you can feel them bursting through the skin and wrapping around limbs, almost like replacements of tendon and bone. Patches of fur are missing. It took you and wore you. I am so sorry, friend. And I close its eyes. Okay. Feeling it. Do we have light yet? Or is it still dark? It's still dark. Are you tapped on fairy lights? Oh, as soon as I got here, they were sucked away. So I can try to summon them back again, but I genuinely don't know if it's just this place. Or you could try and use the cell phone again. Yeah, I try good old Steve Jobs. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, your phone lights up. All right. It's startling. Yeah. You whining you for just a moment with the brightness. You shine it on the thing. It is as I described. Uh, what you see is barely recognizable as wolf. It is. None of you have seen anything like this before. It looks like something was done to it to twist it. You think this was one of Mooney's lot? It could be. They're testing. She suspected they might be testing on Guru next, but she wasn't sure. You see, the pharmaceutical company. It's this. If they've gotten this deep, I, is there any identification on this body at all? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Take a picture of it, someone. You got the phone, all right. homie. All right. That's. Oh, oh, all right. One moment. Yeah, see, while we're having this conversation, I just want to point out to everybody in the room, um, I was right. Under the lake, whole cave system thing, definitely not a building, still applicable, pharmaceutical company experimenting. I just want to hear I was right. No, that's me. Yeah, no, you were. You know what? Once we confirm it's the pharmaceutical company, I will give you that. We already know what it is. It's a guess. I'm guessing. I'm allowed to guess. You see, You just don't want to tell me I'm right. You see Vrika at this point change back into his human form and he reaches down and gently closes the eyes if it's still open up the... Uh, Rumi already did. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, And he kind of just stares at it, gets up, and he goes, whatever this is, there's still two more. Also, um, the wound on its neck, you see more of a green pus than blood coming out. Did you get that in your mouth? It didn't taste like blood, but it wasn't like acidic or anything. It just did not taste good. You know, like those, um, that chlorophyll gum they used to have? No. It was a bit like that. Okay. <laughs> did you, did you, did you just gusher? Somebody? <sighs> Flavor questions for later, please. And I turned and I'm like, hey, let's go. Please. This we guy's will. awesome. Are we going to do something about your son? He's expressing like himself. That. I'm proud of him. Look, it's, it's, good. it's better than just like the, you know. Rumi, you little shit talk's not going to do anything here. Vika, still two more. Vika, your loudness might attract them to us. There is that. Maybe I'm just a little. Good. Now, now walk off. Let's go. Okay. I hold up the, my phone. It's 
It's a picture of, of Rika on the background, just like, oh. like reading. Gross. <laughs> I will try to resummon fairy light now that I know that it's not like a magical okay. darkness. That's like mm -hmm. surprise. Uh, you are successful. You are successful. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So I will. I will bring up the the fairy light. It was. Again. It was like uh, what it did something to like envelop you it, in to darkness like and cancel out, out yeah. my magic. Okay. Um. um Good. I just. As we're leaving, I just want to get a look at some of like the because there was like that those icker tendrils, like that had been seeping into. I want to see if they did they dissipate, or are they moving in any way, or did they die along with the wolf? They died along with the wolf. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, keep moving. And you continue walking. Little bit of a somber feeling over that. And you turn another corner as light fills the tunnel ahead of you. And you can see the tunnel opening into a much larger cavern with a bright light emanating from the center of it. That's where we're gonna end. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back next week with our final chapter of ATL by Moonlight. So don't go anywhere. Fire, motion.